Perplexity just got some serious competition and let me explain why I might stop using them. Claude finally released Web Search. I found a critical advantage most people are missing. Let me show you why combining Claude's best in class reasoning with Web Search creates something truly powerful. How to set it up in less than 30 seconds and my prompting framework to get better searches. The AI search wars just got serious. Claude is already my go-to AI for reasoning, for writing and for coding, but it now just also got a new feature called Web Access. This completely changes the game. I've been testing it against other search tools and what makes Claude's implementation special isn't what most people think. It's not about the sources, it's about what Claude can do with the information once it has it. Setting up Claude is ridiculously simple. Go to your Claude profile settings, toggle on web search and ask for something recent and it will start using the web results. Quick drawback is though that currently it's only available for paid US users, but Anthropic has already announced that they're releasing it more broadly soon. Now let's look at what makes this truly game changing. The key advantage isn't about how many sources Claude finds or even the source quality. In my testing, I haven't seen significant difference in hallucinations between Claude and other tools like Perplexity. The real difference is what happens to the information once Claude has it. And the advantage is that Claude's 200,000 token context window lets you work with massive amounts of information. You can pull in data and paste additional information and documents and code into it and still have room for extensive analysis. I know that Gemini has a huge context window as well, but Claude's output token context limit is the largest that I've seen. So this allows you to write full blog post articles that are 5,000 words sometimes and it gives you code for a whole web page. I once created a web app and it had 2,000 lines of code that Claude generated in one go. And that's why I love Claude. Second advantage with Claude Web Search is that it's best in class reasoning and analysis tool. Claude excels at business logic and analysis. I currently already use it by feeding it information from Gemini and from Grok and from other sources and then have Claude analyze them against each other. Now I can do that all within Claude Web Access. When I feed it the same information as other tools, Claude's conclusions are more nuanced and actionable. Its superior reasoning appears in how it connects dots between different sources and it explains complex relationships. If you want to get the most out of Claude Web Search, right now, you should use the following framework. Plot search is dramatically better when you give it specific prompt structure. Ask it for multiple perspectives, specify time periods, request direct citations, and ask for verification across sources. This simple framework ensures you get the most comprehensive analysis possible. I even put together this prompt that has all of that baked into it and you just need to fill in the blanks. It will give you a really powerful output. Remember, this is day one of Claude's web search. It's literally the worst it will ever be. Consider that Claude's reasoning, writing, and coding capabilities have consistently improved with each update. As this feature matures, the integration between real-time information and Claude's analytical capabilities will only get stronger. What we're seeing today is just the beginning. This is helpful to you. I also created this complete Claude mastery guide covering everything from document analysis to coding with this new web enhanced feature and so many other things that make you more productive when you use Claude. You can check out the link in the description. And if you want to see examples of how to use Claude web search for your own business purposes, you need to watch this video. Peace.